Wait. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back again. Right. Do you see that? Yeah, that's, that's pretty amazing. Do you think? You want to see it with two of them? No, not really. Oh, whew, thank right. heavens. You know, you you look at for a minute there. You look like uh, one of those rock stars from. Uh, Why is my toupee? Twenty years uh, ago. Now the way you were hand, oh, handling okay. that salt okay. and pepper shaker, like if it had a wire on it, you would have swung it around and. I was somebody. a rock star, at one time. Yeah, your your aunt Tootsie rocked you in the cradle like <laughs> when you were a baby. In the cradle of love. Uh huh. Yes, it did. Well, Hi, Mr. Johnson. How are you? Oh, I have never been better. Never. Well, I haven't been better for a long time. <laughs> for a <laughs> but while. I'm doing anyway. real well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, let's get the witch in here and find out what we're... She just sailed Mighty through. fast. Mighty. The witch has got her act together this year. Well, now, you spoke oh, too soon, Johnson. She rammed that witch broom right up my finger. <laughs> witch broom, witch, witch broom. Broom. That oh. broom, that broom, that yeah, broom. Okay, what do you got? All right, dear boys, is it possible for you two to just do a regular sh meal? I mean, like, I know you're trying to be funny and all, but you're getting too far out. Come back to Earth and just do a plain, ordinary meal that's not too complicated. After Wussy and I get home from our jobs at the bank, we're too tired to do anything but use the microwave and do some frozen thing. We've never used the stove in the townhouse we rent. Actually, we're Generation Xers who never had, uh, never had a, a lesson on how to cook in our background, okay? Oh. Sincerely, Bunny and Wussy Wiggle oh, of wonderful. Sparkling Pines, Colorado. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love to hear from those viewers oh, out they're there. Wonderful. So what does it mean, Laban? Well, I guess we just need to do today a regular meal that's not too complicated. So I think you're doing a salad and I'm doing a vegetable. And oh, and hey. Doris the, did the entree. Doris is coming by and we have a, a new hand mic today right. we're going <laughs> I to know. introduce because I have been trained by the sound engineer in using a hand mic. And so for my and after. For my safety. After all these years, after all these years, 17 years we've been doing this show, we're finally going to let Doris speak into her own microphone. And instead of your bosom. The cook sisters are also <laughs> going to be here. You're kidding. Are those it's old true. broads out of the nursing home and again? <laughs> Mr. Steve has been at it again. Have you noticed? Oh, S yeah. Oh, skunk yeah, hair. Put another, uh, skunk hair. But you know, it's okay. he, he has got to change the, that knit needle. That he, or what is that crochet hook that he pulls his head? Because you really do look like a tiger. I mean, like a tiger. Either that or for you, uh, this old house fans, uh, he looks like he is Tiger uh, Cherry, one of those uh, cherry woods. See? Uh, it, well, he got it fairly even this time, no, don't you think? I don't know. There's a big hunk of it. Well, right enough here of this. <laughs> I'm going to do <laughs> seafood salad. And it's a real simple salad. Simple salad. Simple salad. Went to the fair. Simple salad says. Says. Read the recipe. And it was sent in by <laughs> Mrs. Jesse Keol of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I hope I say, how would you pronounce that? Is it Keyhole? Keyhole. 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 All right. And, and yours was sent in by? Mine was sent in by Linda Hall of Coburn, Virginia. That's out in the coal fields. And Linda, we're going to do your green bean Caesar right here on Cook and Cheap. All righty. All right. You're going to do yours yeah, first? Yeah, let, let me just start ahead. here and then I'll just play around. This is an extremely easy recipe. You start off with a pound and a half of green beans. Did you snap those from no, your garden? No, are uh, you crazy? <laughs> When we're taping this show, there's been a big freeze in FLA, and we can't get decent green beans here on the East Coast right now. Oh, they don't look terrible. good. So I used frozen ones, and I cooked them. And you just put them in. You don't have to grease the bowl or anything. You just turn them out into a bowl. Well, aren't they pretty? They look like real beans. Well, they do. But you could use fresh ones, or you could use canned ones, for those of you that are not adverse to using a canned vegetable. There's nothing wrong with them. So uh, the green ones just happen to be cheap today. So uh, you start with that and then we're going to add to it two tablespoons of salad oil. You remember salad oil? I remember you? her. All right. Here is one and just sprinkle that around. Two. And that's you know what we used to say? What did you used to say? Lay down, Sally. Sally. 
And now I'm going to use some wine. You can use any kind of vinegar. I'm going to use... What kind are you going to use? Some wine vinegar. Oh. And uh, I'm going to put in one tablespoon full of the wine vinegar and just sprinkle it all around. Dude, that already sounds... Oh, it is. Wonderful. So... Um, that's all I'm going to do right now. I'm going to shake around, then I'm going to put in some seasoning. So show people what you're doing. Oh, you're doing so, such a good job cutting up those peppers. Well, this seafood salad looks to be quite simple, and also it looks to be quite delicious. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking a, a green pepper. A oh. lady stopped me at a store yesterday and just laid me out while I'm holding a huge piece of furniture, trying to, I'd get 70% off at a going out of business sale. I'm going to stop me, I'm holding a piece of glass this big, stop me and laid me out because we don't leave the recipes up long enough. And you know what I said? I said, well, you know, we do the best we can, ma'am, yes. and if you'll just get out of my way, I'd like to get to my car. No, I didn't say that. I was very nice to her. I thought I was exceptionally nice. Ninety-eight percent of the people we talk to are just as nice as they oh, can they be, really and the are. other two percent are goofy. Well, she didn't mean it in a bad <laughs> way. So anyway, uh, just some plain old bell pepper here. Just chop it up, and chop it up fairly fine into nice little pieces. I have actually taken the time to do a nice job of it because you don't want real big pieces for this salad. It'll just get in the way. And uh, so anyway, that, that's more than enough, actually. It only calls for a quarter of a cup of green peppers. That'll be just about enough. Also calls for a couple of, uh, of one tablespoon of diced onions. So that's not very much. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of that up right now, too. You notice my fingernails mm -hmm. have gotten pretty long. I need to chop those things back a little bit. <clears throat> anyway, that'd be about enough. and Chop that up real fine. Johnson, what do you got? Well, now we, we come to a problem in the recipe. Oh, no. Yes, it's true. Uh, Linda says use a tablespoon of instant uh, minced onion. Well, I've got, I had, had it on hand, mm -hmm. but she didn't say whether to reconstitute it or if the recipe would soak it up. Uh -oh. She didn't say anything about it, so I'm going to put them in just dry like they are and instead of trying to soak them in water for a little while. I suspect you could do it that way if you wanted to, well, but let me ask she you didn't this. say. What would you do if you were doing it at home <laughs> instead of in the studio? I'd experiment. Here. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. right. Well, see, that's what you've so, got to keep that and in And I cooked one of these already at home a little while ago, so we'll find out if it's any good. All right. I also need to chop up a little celery. You know how irritated people get because we spend so much time chopping on this program. But ladies and gentlemen, as we always explain, if we didn't take time to chop, the show would last about two and a half minutes. So I have to chop some celery. I have to dice up about a half a cup uh, of uh, celery. I'm going to do that right now. Right. And I washed it all off a few seconds ago. This is the filthiest celery I've ever seen in my life. So anyway, now, I'm going to I'm, do that real fine, and then I'm going to chop that from there. Go ahead. I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got in your camera space, didn't I? Uh, I, I am uh, adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. The ones that we'll eat on the air today because of my heart are made with salt substitute. And now we're just to have a, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. You know, there's nothing wrong with my heart that I know of, but I really do believe that as a result of the last two or three seasons of eating your food, I think that my heart's better than it was when I started Well, I'm so this glad. Show. I'm real happy to say Well, we do try. Really healthy. It's I get, a matter good. of fact, a woman came up to me today in the store <laughs> and said, it's true, people talk, it's all right. They talk we, to us we like we're there. Old friend. She uh, inquired about my health mm -hmm. and started telling me what a hard time she was had. She had a lot of problems. And we, we commiserated with one another and found out many of the same things we had all found out that, uh, you know, with sugar, you know, no the, the sugar. Too much drinking isn't good for you? Well, no. The, oh, this was a very was, fine, upstanding oh, woman. Okay. I'm right. sure she would never partake of the fruit <laughs> of the vine. But in any event, or the fruit of the field in mm. the matter of corn. But uh, <laughs> she was she was real nice. And, Fruit and of the field. We noticed that, you know, if you put a, uh, uh, if you get a no-fat product, a lot of times they'll ooch up the, the sugar the, and the they'll salt. What, they'll it. what? They'll ooch it up a ooch little bit. Ooch it up. Uh -huh. Is that a southern term? Yeah. Ooch. Ooch. Yeah, ooch I grew up. up in the south. I never heard that one. Well, anyway, they'll ooch it up a little bit, and it'll have extra salt and sugar. So you got to read those labels. That's why they made them easy to do it. 
And enough said for the thing. Now, I've got my oil, my vinegar, and my salt and pepper and my instant minced onions in here. And now I have to put in a, a clove of garlic that has been squashed. Into an inch of its life. Do you need a knife for no, that? No, no, no. I'm all right. Our lovely assistant Doris has gone running down the well, hallway to right. find I, one for I, you. Just put the garlic down in there, squashed, and now I'm going to stir all of this up a little bit so that it takes up the flavors. And just toss well, it, it around. Yeah, well, it does, and it looks smells interesting. So just rub it around, you know, just kind of roll that garlic through there and it'll take up the flavor and everything. So we're in good shape. All right, there it is. Now I've got to make a topping for it and I'll do that in a minute, Larry. Or do we, you know, do we want to risk it and see if the cookers will come in here now for a minute? Let's have the cook sisters yes. come in. And when we get back, I'll review recipes and I'll start putting this thing together. I have to assemble mine yet. The grand assemblage will be right. momentarily. Yes. And, and here gentlemen. comes that dynamic duo, Sister and Tootsie Cook, the Cook Sisters. Oh, sis, your skin is getting so dry. Oh, and you know what that's what cause that is? Yeah, they don't make lard like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but you're right about that. Yep, we let the air in, a, in the house get too dry, and oh. you shouldn't do that. It's not a good idea. You ought to have some boiling water on the stove or maybe some bowls of water sitting around. Oh, we could leave the you-know-what lid open. <laughs> well, I never thought of that. I'm Sister Cook. And I'm Tootsie Cook, and, and we're, we're the, the Cook, Cook Sisters. Sisters. Okay, I have, aren't they wonderful? I have to now take some shrimp. And I got the small ones uh, that are already thawed and deveined. You can get fresh ones and save a little money, but I just didn't have time to save money. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to chop this up a little bit. It does need to be chopped. And if you can get the little miniature popcorn ones, I guess they're available. I have no idea. Can you buy the yeah, popcorn Yeah, sure ones? you can. I reckon you can. That'd even be cheaper. That would even be cheaper still because the smaller they are, the more money you save on them. There was not much cheap about these. This is the most expensive part probably of the entire recipe. So I'm going to chop on those for a few minutes and I have a whole package of them that have been thawed. They're really pretty. And there were some people just... What size package was these, that? Uh, well, I uh, don't really remember. About a uh, half a pound, I think, or so. Let me... And... Uh, Hello so down in there. anyway... And I'm going to continue chopping on those. My Twelve ounces. Twelve ounces. Okay. I'm going to tell you what's in mine right now while I'm chopping. This will save a little time. The seafood salad, a package of crab meat, a package of small shrimp or medium shrimp cut in pieces, mayonnaise or salad dressing. I'll be using a little salad dressing because it's not quite as caloric and a little bit easier on Mr. Johnson and myself too. Uh, half a cup of diced celery, quarter cup of green peppers, tablespoon of diced onion, and we'll put a little salt and pepper to taste. Mr. Johnson? Okay, now I'm going to make a topping to go on the beans before they bake in the oven. And I've got a tablespoon of um, softened margarine in here. And to that I'm going to add two tablespoons of dry breadcrumbs. So there's one, there's two, and two tablespoons of grated Parmesan, preferably one that is actually grated and in a plastic bag rather than a cardboard box. The flavor really does tend to be a lot better when you have it that way. Now let me see if I can get into this. Oh, this is a complicated one. How did I do this? Don't you just know? I can't. There we go. There seems to be a lull in the program. Well, you know, it's one of those things where they've got a bag that's sealed so well you can't get into it. I really do feel sorry for some of, of our elderly viewers that have a hard time getting into stuff because I know I am. Two tablespoons full of sh shredded Parmesan cheese. Put this over here. 
And now we're just going to mix all that together until it forms crumbles. So I'm doing that. Larry, why don't you go through your recipe and then we'll bring Aunt Doris <laughs> in. Well, Laban, uh, funny you would mention that because it just did it. Oh, you did? <laughs> But um, now you have, wait a minute. You, you went through every ingredient. I, I certainly did. Oh. Well, but, uh, let me assemble. Let me do mine. All right. Uh, the green bean Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> How did I have a fresh green beans? I'm sorry, folks. I'm just a little discombobulated. Two tablespoons of salad oil, a tablespoon of vinegar, a tablespoon of instant minced onion, quarter teaspoon of salt, clove of garlic crushed, one eighth teaspoon black pepper, two tablespoons of dry breadcrumbs, two tablespoons of grated Parmesan cheese, and a tablespoon of butter or margarine, and some paprika to come. Okay, I'm going to assemble mine right now. It'll only take a couple of seconds. I've chopped everything, the, the uh, shrimp and the diced celery and the onions and the green peppers, and I'm now going to take all of them. We're going to put it all into a nice big bowl. Oh, it's just, it's a pretty salad too. And it's also going pretty much all over everything. There we go, it all goes in there. There we go. And then also we will put into that a package of crab meat. How big a package is that? It's, well, a package is one of those cans. Oh, okay. Get a bigger one. And then to that, we will then add some salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper to taste. Not an awful lot, we don't need to overdo it. And I'll probably add a little more pepper to it in just a little bit. And a little bit of, uh, of salad dressing goes in there. And you just have to play this one by ear and just mix it around until it has a nice consistency to it. And that, then you chill it for a little while before you serve it because it'll just be lovely. Why don't we have uh, you ready? Yeah, we Ms. better bring Doris in Ms. because Doris she threw in. that fork down on the floor a minute ago. She did so that she would get our attention. While Doris is explaining her recipe to her, I'm going to put this topping on the green beans. So well, Doris. isn't that pretty? What is okay. that? Uh, my recipe is from Sue. You didn't say hello or anything. <laughs> oh, yes. I know. I should say hello to everyone because everyone says hello to me, and I'm real happy with that. And you guys might complain, but I'm, I'm happy when people stop me in the store <laughs> and say hello. Sorry. No, no, hit it. <laughs> anyway, it's from Sue Fisher from Philadelphia in Pennsylvania, and it's a chicken meatloaf and um, you know you sound just like <laughs> yourself on mic <laughs> I hope so well anyway uh, we, I couldn't find ground chicken so uh, nobody's got a light on here <laughs> you know they tell me to look at the camera well, one time showing, I'm looking showing your food. okay yeah. um, just get to it here okay they, I've got time <laughs> and my horoscope said for me to to, to really play <laughs> up from build myself up and I'm building myself up here <laughs> well we're gonna be out of the show here in a couple but of anyway um, I couldn't find ground chicken so we bought um, the breast of chicken on sale and ground it up ourselves to do this and I think it's you a went lot to all that trouble for this yes show? and it's a lot cheaper and you know what's in it you know well, you don't know true. what's in that other yeah. stuff and <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and um, it's uh, it's got a lot of stuff it's got two pounds of ground chicken an envelope of onion soup mix two eggs beaten and I use the um, egg beaters this time so that good uh, for you uh, Laban can eat it. Mm -hmm. um, four slices of white bread soaked in water and squeezed out. Eight tablespoons of Italian bread crumbs. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Four tablespoons of ketchup. Four tablespoons Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of steak sauce. Two tablespoons white wine. One small <laughs> onion grated. Four garlic cloves minced. And, and the after I in a really, and then you you put some ketchup on top and some more breadcrumbs. And I felt by the time I got done with that, it didn't matter if I found the chicken or not. I probably <laughs> could have used turkey, and nobody was going to know the difference. I'll be honest you with know, you, with Doris. <laughs> Doris, I'll be honest with you. It wears me out just hearing about really? it. Really, <laughs> so, and then just bake, put it together, and bake it for 45 minutes. And I would suggest putting it in maybe a loaf pan because it's hard to shape. It's real. It was very soupy, and I let it set for a little. while to absorb the breadcrumbs so but I could does, shape it because otherwise a but I think shape if, to it. yeah but I think if you put in a bread you know in a, a, cake, a loaf pan, loaf pan mm. then when you turn it out you would have yeah. something nice a wonderful job as okay. always thank yeah. you thank we'll you. look forward <laughs> to digging it into it go ahead All right, let me sprinkle a little paprika now here on the top I have no earthly idea what this paprika is going to do 
This is a mild one as opposed to a hot one, so it's not going to add a whole lot of flavor. But there's the paprika. And Larry, I uh, baked one ahead of time, and here it is. Well, why don't you tell and us what's in yours, Laban? It's, I've already done it. <laughs> you paying me back. Oh, you dog. Dog of dogs. Well, that's pretty. Yes, it is. It's real lovely. It might have stayed in the oven. You really only need to heat it through, so that's maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and this was in a little longer than I wanted. But uh, I think I'm ready to take it over to the table. Well, speaking of pretty, I want you to see this because this really is also, this is a very pretty salad, and you may want to top it with a, a little something or this, not real pretty around the edge, because I mixed it in that bowl. I would transfer it to something else to prettify it all mm -hmm. up, you understand, make it look lovely. But it is very pretty, and put that in the refrigerator and, and chill it, and you might want to put a little uh, parsley on top of mm -hmm. it or something like that. So there you go. That's the uh, seafood salad. Well, sorry. <laughs> Just took that thing and snapped it right across there, <laughs> right out from in front of the camera. And here we are in our lovely little dining room dining room area oh it looks nice mm -hmm. you have all the utensils over there for serving up uh where should i put that the, i'll, I'll put serve that the loaf here and you serve some of your salad oh well thank yeah, let you. me give you a big piece of well, you chicken didn't give loaf. yourself any beans uh, well i'm going to well let me help you The serving goes on and on and on. It smells great, all yes, of it. it does. Smells Lovely. wonderful. Thank I you I think so that much. I would not normally serve seafood salad with uh, chicken, but that's okay. It won't hurt a thing on this show. Anything oh. goes. It was going to knock over the flower <laughs> arrangement there for a bit. We have a lovely floral tribute to Miss Doris today from a friend. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. it's, uh, a dear friend of hers who wanted to make sure that she was treated properly on the program for a change today. Oh. We appreciate that. Well, this certainly smells great. What have you tried? Your salad. And? Not bad. It's really good. Absolutely. If it had set up for the night, it would have been even better, probably. Let me try your green beans here. They're pretty good. How are the onions? They're all right. Should they have been? Well, they're not overpowering, and I don't know. I can't give you an answer. Oh, I just don't know what to say about it. I think they're okay, but once in a while you hit one of those little things, and mm -hmm. you get a little like a burst of flavor. Yeah, yeah, like you won't be able. To, I won't be able to be smooching up on anybody for the rest of the day. Mmm. Now, what's this chicken stuff? This is chicken loaf, just mm. like a meat loaf. Doris, except you did wonderful. This is really good. Just wonderful. Mm, all these recipes are tasty, mm, mm, mm. full of flavor. And we always like for people to send their recipes to us from all around America. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't even tried the seafood thing. Mmm. I like that. That's wonderful. Let me taste it again just to make sure. <laughs> Can you tell we're stretching a little here? Well, you know, sometimes you have to, you do, have to that. do that. You have to do that. Even in your kitchen at home, you're not used to doing things in a given amount of time. Right. right. Now, you'll find a way to send the recipes to us by looking at the end of the show. And please send them in because we love to get them and see what you're cooking. And uh, remember, you don't have to send in one that came off the box or the bag two weeks ago. Uh, even though grandma's old recipe may indeed have originally come from a bag or a box. You know, that is true. We tradition have, of American cooking. We have discovered that down through the years that people send us their grandmother's recipes and we find out they came off of a can somewhere. Right. Mm -hmm. Grandma at, was a bird. Back in the 18 or, or late 1800s or early 1900s. Right after true. they started making cans, right. of course. But... Uh, Send it to us, and we'll look at it, and if we can fit it in, we'll do it right Some of our recipes were so old, they were actually written on the side of rocks we oh. discovered. But uh, anyway, mm. well, I, I think this is a good, a good round of recipes. Excellent. So anyway, Mr. Johnson, I, my best to you, and have a nice day. And come back again sometime. <laughs> I already <laughs> planned to do that. I don't have to be wished it.